Hello everyone, I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So today we are going to be making a chili verde, also known as green chili. Uh, the first time I had this was when I was working contract up in Denver, Colorado. I went out with some friends after work and we were having drinks and decided to get something to eat and I tried chili verde or green chili for the first time. So let's grab our aprons, let's get our ingredients and let's get started. For our chili verde we're going to need the following. Oil, pork butt cubed, onion, cumin, coriander, oregano, garlic, hatch peppers, poblano peppers, jalapeno peppers, tomatillos, bay leaves, cilantro, corn flour, which is masa, chicken stock, and salt. So we've got some oil heating it up over a medium high heat on a larger Dutch oven. And to this we are going to add in our pork. And I've got my pork uh, pre-chopped in a pre-chopped package. And what I needed to do, I just needed to go in and chop them up just a little bit more. To about one, about one inch pieces. And to this we're going to sprinkle over about one to two tablespoons of salt and so we're going to cook this till it's brown on all sides and then we'll remove it from the pot so i've added my onions and garlic uh, to my pan or i'm sorry to my dutch oven and i added about a tablespoon of salt and we're going to let this saute for about five minutes so our onions have been cooking for about five minutes, so I'm going to add in my peppers. And then I'm also going to add in my seasoning, my oregano, my cumin, and my coriander. And we're going to let this saute for another five minutes. Alright, so our peppers have been cooking for about five minutes. And so to this, we are going to add in our chicken stock. And we're going to add in our tomatillos. cilantro and our pork. Now what I did is I took about three tablespoons of the corn masa and mixed that over the pork. Dump this in here. Trying not to make a big mess. this and let this cook for two to three hours. Okay, so this has been covered and simmering for two and a half hours and looks good. So let's test and make sure that the meat is tender. All right, so yep, perfectly tender. So now we're going to go ahead and get plated up. All right, so we're going to get this plated up. And this just smells really, really good. And we're going to give this a good stir. Make sure we get plenty of meat, which there is tons of. There we go. All right. 
right, so we've got us some chili verde, green chili served up. So we're going to give this a taste. Oh, here I am making a mess. Until next time, enjoy cooking in the kitchen.